Hey, if you're tired of your boring prompt and want to spice things up a little, then check out this quick tip. So in this quick tip, I'm going to show you as fast as possible how you can make your prompt a little more interesting. What I will show you applies to PowerShell.exe, but also applies to the new Windows terminal if you use PowerShell from that. So let's go over what you need to do. First, of course, you need to install a couple of modules. Oh my posh is the module that actually integrates the templating, the theming of uh, PowerShell. And if you use Git, which I highly recommend if you uh, are a scripter or a programmer, then you can also install posh Git to get some cool effects when uh, using a local or remote repositories. Now I have already run these two commands, so I'm going to skip. And uh, if you don't want to is install the modules from PowerShell, you can get them directly from GitHub and uh, place them in the modules path yourself. The next thing you need to do, and I highly recommend it, is to install some cool fonts that will uh, be able to display some um, more characters than uh, the fonts that are available now. With these commands, you just uh, download a zip file with the fonts in your current directory, expand the archive, install the fonts, and then delete the zip and also the expanded folder. Now, after you have the fonts ready to go, what I recommend you use if you use PowerShell.exe is Deja Vu Sans Mono for Powerline. This is what I use. And if you use the Windows Terminal, I highly recommend Inconsolata for Powerline. Just be aware that in Windows Terminal not all fonts work. This is a list of all the fonts that work in Windows Terminal as far as uh, I tested. You can find this list uh, with all the commands that I showed you in the GitHub link in the description. Okay, enough talking. Let me show you what you have to do in order to get that uh, cool prompt. Import the Oh my posh and posh git module in case you use git and set one of the themes available and there you have it a nice and customized prompt now if you want to get a list of themes these are all the themes uh, I have this one is made by me and you can find it also in the github repository and this is how it looks like and last but not least whenever you open powershell if you want these uh, commands to run automatically you just have to add them to your powershell profile in case you don't have one created this first command will create one. Then just open uh, the created file with notepad and paste these three commands. When I open PowerShell, it should default to this theme and it works. So this was this quick tip. I highly recommend you use uh, this uh, tool, this module. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe, like and share and see you in the next one.